Boy, isn't it great to have an amp that inspires you to play? Hi, I'm Bob Swanson. I've been playing guitar for about 40 years, been involved in studios for 30 years and owned them for the last 15. I've had an awful lot of time to spend with amplifiers and I know what a good amplifier sounds like. So I started out on a quest because all my experience had been using 50, 100 watt amplifiers, all of the Marshalls, the Blues Breakers, Plexis, 100 watters, 50 watters. I've had high watt half stacks, all the Vox stuff, AC 30s, 15 10s and so on and a lot of fenders from the Tweed, the Brown, and the Blackface series. While they're all great amplifiers and they all have their different uses that we like to use them for, there always seemed to be a little something missing for me. So I set out on a quest to design an amplifier that would actually suit the needs that I wanted it to be. I wanted clarity. I wanted this thing to rock the dog hard. I wanted big time distortion. I wanted great clean tones. The whole time I wanted to have distinction in the notes, tight bottom end, and have this thing to be extremely fast upon acceleration. Over the years, obviously, all of us have had amplifiers and, and had high wattage, 50, 100 watt amplifiers been out playing. And how many times have we been told, you're too loud, you're too loud, you're too loud? Which is the reason why I chose 20 watt venue to go ahead and build this in, because I felt like if I could achieve the headroom and the clarity that I've had in some 100 watt amplifiers, but out of a 20 watt package, I'd hit a home run. I've been able to achieve uh, the clarity, the distinction and, and discernment of notes, and to be able to have the headroom, the apparent headroom that the larger amps had, I now have with the 20 watt. The other end of that spectrum is that it was important for me at an ultra low volume to be able to have something that was still exciting to play. We all know what happens to one, a lot of these amplifiers when you turn them down to a really low volume. They just die off and there isn't, the, the excitement's gone in playing them. Uh, through some gain structuring and different things that I designed in this amplifier, we've been able to maintain a really great distortion uh, and excitement level at low volume. It's what I uh, affectionately like to call the apartment room volume. You know, you're at home, you're Jones, and you want to play your guitar. It's midnight. You know, if you turn your other other amplifier up, you're going to get called on. It's going to be a problem. But here, you can turn this thing up at ultra low volume, and you can play till your heart's content. The thing will zing for you at low volume, and I think we've achieved that. And it's it's a great sound. I think once you get your ears on this amplifier, it's going to be a must-have for your list, too. What I'm going to show you first is a gassed-up single coil sound. While it's very punchy, it still has great definition and clarity. It's one of my favorite tones. Check this out. So you see we get a little more of a screaming Strat kind of a sound. Now let's say, as I mentioned earlier, now we're going to go into that Jones mode. It's late at night. We really want to rock the dog, but we can't because we're worried about the neighbors. So what I'm going to do, come over here, I'm going to turn the master volume way down. I am going to turn the preamp gain all the way up, the boost all the way up, and I'm going to turn the bass probably to four or five. I'll have the mid up and the top end up. I'm switching to a bridge pickup now, and uh, let's see what we end up with here. We'll just barely turn this thing. I first met Bob Swanson about 20 years ago, and I had been busy recording and touring with the band and had really grown out of playing electric guitar because of my disenchantment with amplifiers. And Bob very graciously invited me over to his house and his splendid amplifier collection. And he and I began a wonderful friendship and a great journey through amplifier land. We purchased a slug of Fenders and Marshalls and Voxes and went through all of them, and Bob 
was extremely competent and adept and creative at getting the, out of the amplifier what he and I thought uh, they most needed to provide. And uh, being the creative soul that he is, he took it a, a further step. He started taking these tremendous amplifiers and modding them and tweaking them and doing his own thing with them. And Swan Pro Amps, I think, is the logical creative conclusion for Bob. I think they're incredibly inspired, incredibly musical, incredibly dynamic. And I'm really proud to know Bob and be a part of uh, the journey that uh, brought out these amplifiers. Hey, I want to thank you for taking the time to listen. I hope you've learned enough about these amps that you're going to want to find out where you can play one of them. It's been an exhilarating ride to develop this amp line, and I'm very proud of the final product. So check us out at swanproamps.com. You won't be disappointed.